Last week, I uploaded a video about uh, the kind of man or the kind of man you shouldn't marry. And someone asked me a very good question and said, why do you talk about men? Why not about ladies? There are some ladies that are not marriageable to. They are not the kind of people you can marry. I said, yes, I know. And today, I want to address that. There are some kind of ladies you shouldn't even think of marrying. They are going to ruin your life. And today, we are, going to do, we are going to talk about some ladies you shouldn't marry. That is going to be our topic today. So come along, enjoy yourself, grab some water if you need to drink water, or some juice, and some snacks if you want to enjoy yourself. And let's just keep it rolling. Hello guys, my name is Falakemi and the name of my channel is Falakemi Atos. I am a faith, food, family and lifestyle vlogger. Thank you for coming along with me. I thank you for all those people that have been subscribing, people that have been dropping their comments in the comment section, people that have been hitting that notification bell and people that have been sharing my post. I appreciate you so much. You are really making me to, you are inspiring me to do more. Even sometimes I don't want to do anything, but I said, no, I can't disappoint these people that have been kind of supporting me. We want to talk about another vital topic. And that is the kind of women you shouldn't think of marrying. Before we start, I want to encourage everyone, if you know you have not subscribed, please do consider subscribing and please hit that notification bell down there. I don't know which side. <laughs> I don't know. Wherever. Just make sure you hit the notification bell so that you get notified. Each time I upload a new video. So you don't have to. I don't have to start posting. You just get it automatically. And please kindly share and like if you like what I'm doing. Thank you so much and God bless you. Today, we want to talk about the kind of ladies you shouldn't think of marrying. Yeah, I'm a lady and I have boys. I grew up with boys and I have my children. All my children are boys. So I'm just passionate about young girls because just like I said in my last video, most of the time the ladies are always at the receiving hand. But that doesn't mean that there, you cannot find some terrible ladies. There are some ladies that you shouldn't even think of marrying. They are going to ruin your life they're going to ruin your dreams and they're going to mess up your life and i have 10 just like i said in the last video this is not the list you might have so many other but to me those are the 10 categories of ladies you should not think of marrying because you have to be very very careful about the kind of person you want to end up your life with i told in my last vlog the person you marry, the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with, has a lot to do with your destiny. It can either make or marry you. So you have to be very, very careful. The first one on my list is, don't marry a risky spender. Yeah, I know ladies love shopping. We love buying things. But any lady you want to marry, who doesn't think before you buy things? Who is just willing to finish all your paycheck in a day? Or who doesn't think about what is going to be tomorrow? He doesn't want to sit down and plan your life with you. Please don't go there. A lady that is ready to buy the most expensive thing at the detriment of the family. Please, you have to be very careful. A lady who is not ready to manage with you. To adjust with the standard. But always want to go to the highest bid. I'm not saying you should take yourself very low or make yourself very cheap. But at the same time, a good lady, a good woman should be able to have plans. You should have priorities. Not just buying anything that comes out in the market. 
not the most expensive wave on. You know, some of us need to buy things that we don't even need. And we keep on acquiring and acquiring and acquiring at the detriment of our family. Remember, whatever you do today is going to affect your future. You should be able to plan with your guy. You should be able to plan with your man. So if you have a lady that doesn't care about how much money you want to spend, is willing. When you get your paycheck until the money finishes before it's going to back off, you have to be very careful. She is not the kind of lady that is going to make a good home. So guys, be careful. I know the kind of lady you should marry. Risky spender, please don't go there. Don't marry an insecure woman. A woman who doesn't have a belief, who doesn't believe in herself. Who doesn't think she can even do anything in life? Who doesn't have a vision about her life? She's, she doesn't have a plan. She doesn't want to do anything for herself. Because she feels that, oh, if I go to school, I might not pass. I might not make it. If I go to school, I might fail. And she doesn't even have a particular thing she's thinking about. She doesn't have a plan. She doesn't have a goal for her life. She has not set up a goal for her life. You have to be careful. Good lady should have a goal. No matter how young you are. I'm not saying everybody should go to school. But at least, even if you don't go to school, what do you want to do? What do you want your family to look like? How do you want your family to live? have a plan? You should have a secure future. You should be able to plan for your life. Don't marry a lady who have no security, who doesn't have any, who doesn't have a plan for her life. Don't go there. A woman will always support you and be able to key into your plan and your goals and your vision just to make sure you succeed. But there's some women, they don't even care. They just live their life where they are. Don't marry a beauty queen. <laughs> Some people will kill me after this. A beauty queen. Hmm. Ladies are so conscious of their beauty that they don't want to do anything good about their lives. The only thing they care about is how to take care of themselves. They don't care about any other person. They are so worried about their features, their beauty. It has entered their head and is making them to swell so much that... They look at every other person as if you are nothing. Proud, proud ladies. They don't want to get their future distorted. That's why they don't even want to go through pregnancy or they don't want to breastfeed a child. I don't want my breast to, you know, fall. You have to be very careful. Don't marry a beauty queen. Don't marry a woman because of her nails. She does not want to cook. Because she does not want her nails to be destroyed. Oh, you have to be very careful. You ha Don't marry a drama queen. Yeah, don't marry a drama queen. A drama queen is someone that makes a mountain out of nothing. She's so dramatic. You are stuck in traffic and you call her, Oh, babe, I can't get home now. I'm stuck in traffic. And the next thing is that she's yelling, Are you the only one in that place? Why is it that every time you always come home late? Why is it that you always tell me that you're tr stuck in traffic? It makes a big deal out of everything. Every little thing, she's not, she's so emotional. Emotional. I am also emotional. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't take hold of myself. I shouldn't get a grip on myself. Some of, the, some of our ladies are so dramatic. They are so dramatic. They are so dramatic. They are so paranoid. So you have to be very careful. Number five, negative woman. A woman who thinks everything about life is negative. She does not even look at the positive side of life. Pessimistic. You want to do, oh, I don't think you can do this job because I just have this feeling that you're going to die. You want to do something good for the family? Oh, no, I can't. I, I don't think you should do this because I think something bad is going to happen. She doesn't believe in anything. She thinks the worst of everything. Don't marry a party freak. <laughs> yeah. There are some ladies there. Eh? Hmm. Especially in the side, in the part where I'm coming from, the kind of Africa where I'm coming from, Nigeria. I know we love parties. 
but there's some women if you marry them they have to buy all the oh and bears parties cloth all the assured bees they are related to everyone and they know everyone in town practically don't even have time for their family they don't have any time for their family for you they're in lagos today they're in london tomorrow for parties unnecessary parties party freak ladies and you can't stop them because that is their life you can't stop them i know a lot of people like that you can't stop them that's their passion. They are ready to spend all their life saving to buy the expensive, the most expensive gold, the most expensive cloth, just to be at the party. Even if the family doesn't have anything to eat, even if the children are starving, they are ready to buy anything with their money just to go to that party. Ladies, that lost party. Oh my God, guys, be careful. Everybody should have fun, but you shouldn't let it be take a better part of your life. You shouldn't let it destroy your life. You should know you have a family to take care of. And as a lady, you should be able to balance the in-between. And give your family the best. Don't marry an inconsistent and a liar. A woman that lies is going to be a very big trouble for you. You can never catch them. An inconsistent woman, an unstable woman, liars. They make up stories that doesn't even exist. They make up stories that doesn't exist. Please, to marry an inconsistent lady is very dangerous. The person who is truthful, who you can trust, and your mind will be at peace. Marry a liar. Don't marry an inconsistent woman guys be careful marry someone you can trust go there don't marry a lazy woman don't marry a lazy woman a woman who cannot do anything by herself she depends on people to do everything for her she cannot think of doing anything she cannot cook by herself most men they are not really kind of uh, how will I call it they are not <laughs> I don't know the word I can use they are not the kind of people that makes home but a lady should be able to make home but when you marry a lazy woman oh my god you are going to be miserable for the rest of your life because you go out you come back the house is going to be the way you left it very untidy even to take care of and take care of the children very lazy always giving excuses Please, don't marry a lazy woman. A woman should be multitasking. A good wife should be multitasking. You have to think about how to take care of the family, how to take care of your husband, how to take care of your children, how to take care of your relations, how to take care of your job. Do you know I noticed that some people, their housewives, yet they are so lazy. You still make that some people that are working, they are even still, their home is still even better than them. The only thing they think of is just to wake up, eat, sleep, watch movies, and that's all. Don't marry a lazy woman. A woman should be hardworking. In the book of Proverbs, they give us a list of how a virtuous woman should be. You wake up very early in the morning and make sure that everybody in the household is comfortable. Everybody. Make sure that the house is always tidy. Thank God with all this electronic gadget, life can be easy for you. But even without that, you must always be up and doing. And that doesn't stop you from working. You have to work. And you have to learn how to balance the two. And to take care of yourself and your children. And have time for, enough time for your husband. So, the another, another type of lady you shouldn't even think of marrying is, I'm not ready type. There's some ladies that are not just ready for marriage. They just want to enjoy their life. They want to have all the fun in the whole world, travel to different places. They are not just ready for any commitment. A lady who is not ready to be committed to a married life will never give you satisfaction. If she's not ready, 
please don't fall. She's going to make your life a living hell. Don't marry a woman or a lady who is not ready to be married. She wants to enjoy herself for the fun in the world. Don't force the woman who is not ready for marriage. If she is not ready, please let her be. There are so many women, ladies out there who are ready to be settled. Who are ready to be married. So why do you have to run her run just, just because of her beauty or what? No. If she is not ready, please let her be. Go for someone who is ready. Like I said in my other video, if you marry a man who is not ready, there's a problem. If you marry a lady who is not ready, there's a big problem. So this marriage is something that we can enjoy, not endure. So don't marry someone who is not ready, who is not psychologically ready, emotionally ready, physically ready. Because marriage is like a total package. It comes with every form of things. You have to be physically prepared. Your body, your emotions, your psychology, everything has to be ready. You have to put everything, everything to it. So if someone is not ready, please. It's not about age. There are some people that are old. Yeah, they are not ready for marriage. Marry someone who is ready. Marry someone who is prepared to get married. Marry someone who is ready for you. Who is ready to be committed? Who is ready to, to marry? Who is ready for commitment? Who is ready to sacrifice? Those are the kind of person you should marry. Don't marry an extreme feminist. <laughs> the extreme feminist doesn't want to have a man over her head. I'm not saying that a woman shouldn't have a voice. I am a woman, I have a voice. I want to have a voice in the house. But don't marry a woman that will tell you, no man can be home over me. Don't marry a woman who is not ready to take any advice from you. She's so full of herself, she feels that whatever she does is right. She's not, it's not a com marriage is not competition. It's companionship. You are not trying to kind of, who is the best, who is not. I use the word extreme because to some extent, every woman should be able to believe in herself. But when it got to the point that you don't see any good in a man you want to marry, you are not ready to submit. I'm a Christian. And I'm from Africa. Submission is the key. You have to submit to your husband. And you have to respect your husband, no matter how little you, no matter how small the man is. Please give your man respect. Submit to your husband. And the man is going to love you. I'm not saying you should submit to a man that abuses you. No. Respect your man. Give him that lordship a little bit. He's the king in the house. Respect him. And he's going to take you like a queen. This is not competition. Marriage is not competition. It is companionship. Someone you love, you'll be able to rub minds together to be able to come out with one single goal between the line. If she's extreme feminist, it's going to be very, very hard for you to be able to have a happy home. It's going to be very, very hard for you. Except you are ready to live with that for the rest of your life. Lastly, don't marry, I don't want your mother. There are some ladies like that. They don't want anybody to come around you, especially your mom. In fact, some of them will tell you, do you have a mom? Oh, if you have a mom, I can't even marry you. Why? Ladies, why are we like this? You're a woman. You're a mother. One day your son is going to get married. Do you want a lady to wish dead? Do you want someone to wish you dead? My, they don't want anybody around there, especially from your husband's family. Some men are like that too. I talk about that in my last video. And some women are also like that. They don't want anything from their husband's family. And they will tell you. That's why I use the word, I don't want your mama. 
you shouldn't wish your mother-in-law dead because one day you're going to be a mother-in-law too. So guys, you want to marry, please be very careful. A woman that loves you will love your mother. I want you to share with me. What are the kind of, what are the kind of things you look out for when you want to get married? And what kind of women do you think you shouldn't marry? I want to see that in my comment section. If you are still watching my video up to now, it means you like what I'm doing. And it means that you appreciate what I'm doing. Please don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. It's free. You don't spend any money to subscribe. It's free, please. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified each time I upload a new video. Follow me on my social media, on my Twitter, on my Instagram, and on my Facebook page. Until next time, when I'm going to bring out another blockbuster. See you and bye.